I stole a car. And what I'm about to show y'all is bad. Y'all, they got black people crayons. And the police are behind us, right? You get to a point where you're fed up with your dirtiness. Oh, they put my ass in handcuffs. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shana. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? How you doing? If you're a returning viewer, hey, babes, how you doing? Welcome back. Okay, so as you can see from the title of this video, your girl is doing a deep clean because her room looks disgusting. Like, a girl doesn't get a roommate for 24 days and don't know how to act. And if my roommate is seeing this, babes, I mean, by the time you get here, I'll be gone. So what I mean by that is I'm getting moved out of this room, but that's going to be a whole different video. That's not what this video is about. That's not why I'm deep cleaning either. I just, you know, you get to a point where you're fed up with your dirtiness and um, we're just going to clean. Um, I'm going to show y'all how dirty my room look so y'all can see the beginning. I mean, so y'all can see... So, so y'all can see the before. Yeah, so y'all can see the before. And then see the after. Y'all, today is Saturday. I'm filming this video on Saturday. When are my upload days? Sunday at 5 p.m. So that means I'm editing and um freaking editing and filming in the same day. So, so just just know that's what i'm doing that's that's what i'm doing and it's only because i had inspection this week so i had zero time to record because i was literally at work until like six and y'all know i go to the gym and then by the time i get from the gym eh, youtube just didn't fit in my schedule this week and that's okay that's cool because as long as it's up on sunday at 5 p.m that's all that matters so let's get into this video Purr. We're just going to start in the area that I'm in right now, which is the bathroom area. So first things first, that y'all can see my waist trainer hanging up. It's not supposed to be here. I usually only hang it up here like the day after my gym so it can dry so I can wear it for the next day. Anyways, um, and then I bought this stuff from Walmart. Is it supposed to be here? No, it's a coloring book and some color crayons or whatever. Do y'all want a mini? Y'all want a mini haul? I think y'all do. I think y'all do. So I'm gonna put y'all on top of the mess that I'm about to clean up. Um, so basically, y'all, I did not know this, and I wish they had these when I was little and when I was in elementary school. Y'all, they got black people crayons. They got black people crayons. Like, um, I know I used to color the the tan people peach. But no, they got medium almond, medium, medium almond. Is that how you say that word? Like almond joy? Yeah. Um, and then they got the deepest almond, extra deep golden, extra deep rose. Like, okay, Crayola, I see you. You're not trying to be racist, and I see that. And then I got these, and I always wanted these when I was a little kid, but my mom always told me no because they was expensive, and they was expensive, but I still got them. Um, I got the little twisty ones. You know, all the bougie caucus people or non-caucus but mostly caucus people um had these little things and now i got them so hmm and then i got some color pencils and then i got me a coloring book call me childish call me whatever you want but i'm about to be having a blast with this like it's so pretty yup mm -hmm. so that stuff's not supposed to be here it's not supposed to be sitting on my sink then you have all this i did my hair last night i retwisted it um, and I just left it here. Uh, it's not supposed to be there. Um, you got this bag that I got from the Walmart haul. You got my hair on the ground because I tried to cut the back of my hair, the ones the, um, where it's balding at, because the BDBs was starting to look a little ugly and ratchet. So, yeah. And then you got my core frame that I wore on Friday. Um, and then you got my uniform that's supposed to be in here. And then you got this unorganized mess. And then just that up there, I, I don't know. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Don't talk about my shoe collection, okay? I'm, as you can see, I'm trying to build it. So leave me alone. Um, and then you have this. It's not that unorganized. Um, yeah. And then you got some spandex. Y'all, are y'all ready for this? Because it's bad. Like, it's bad. What I'm about to show y'all, it's bad. Do y'all see? This thing is filled up to the top. Do y'all want to know what those clothes are? They're dirty clothes. Do y'all want to see where the clean clothes are? Right there. Like, but we're going to do my laundry today. Don't judge me. If y'all came in this video to judge me and call me dirty, that's not nice. And I hope you know that. Okay. So, yeah. And then you have up there, which I'm going to organize. You have my little silverware that I be stealing from the child hall. Because who, who about to go buy something from the child hall if they sound right here? I don't freaking wait. Like, it's not going to be me. 
Okay, so that's that. And then this area, this area is probably the cleanest part of this area. And y'all, um, I have been doing really good taking my vitamins. I take two a day. Um, I don't know if it's working or not, but yeah. And then you got the, oh child, hold on. Let me get something off my bed because um, y'all can't see that. <laughs> okay, um, then you have my bed. It's not made, but my sheets do need to be washed. Um, so then those clean clothes, which is probably only like two things in there. Child, it's the bra for me. Anyways, everybody seen a bra. You got my garrison cover, all this stuff. Um, yeah, it's just not. It's look at my um my roommate side of the room, and then look at mine. Get it together, babes. Get it together. Now we're gonna get into this cleaning because I do have something to do today, and we don't have time to be cleaning all day. Okay, okay. We're gonna start in the bathroom area. Her, let's get into it. Don't seem a little high, y'all. I need one of those tripods because this tripod is big. I need one of the small ones that you hold. But am I gonna go buy it? Probably not, because your girl is saving up for what? Comment down below, a car, period, okay? Um. So yeah, so most of the stuff that's on top of my sink goes under my sink, and I'm just gonna do that. Um, should I time lapse it? I feel like, I don't know, y'all. I'm trying to pick up my editing skills. I'm trying to get good at the editing, because my I feel like my edit, not the rant, but I feel like my editing is good, but it's not like, hmm, famous YouTuber good, you know? Like, I'm trying. Oh, y'all, I got my eyelashes done. Y'all like them? Per. Because I was looking a little crusty, so I had to get my eyelashes done. I had to redo my hair, child. And it's looking real cute. Look at my legs on. Like, y'all can see the parts. Before, y'all could not see the parts. If y'all want a um, video about how I twist my hair and the products I use to maintain them and make them lock up, comment down below. Y'all. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be cleaning, but any videos y'all want, y'all know all y'all got to do is comment down below and I'll do them. Like, I be pulling out videos out my butt. Like, this was not a planned video. So, yeah. And I feel like y'all like, like, my vlog content more than my sit-down videos content. So, like, I was going to make videos about the boot camp, but that video didn't do good. So, I'm like, do y'all not like it? Like, let me know. Comment down below so I can know what y'all want. Okay, let's get into the cleaning, y'all. Baby, I just need a hug. Walk like an IG model, walk with a bottle. Per, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Tell your bitch I said hello. We can't both be your type. We really can't because I don't understand. I decided I'm about to do my laundry first to get that out the way and get it in the wash machine area now so it can go ahead and clean. So by the time I go out, I got clothes to wear instead of like, yeah, y'all didn't ask. But I just went damn shame why do i got two well this one not that big this one not that full excuse me but my brights them ba that baby full that baby full but yeah i'm gonna go take that to the laundry man and then we'll get back to the business i swear to you it's gotta be 100 degrees outside because it's, it's hot as hell it's hot as hell and i need to get in the house because i wore this outfit it's not even an outfit it's a shirt and some shorts i wore it yesterday people don't think i'm nasty but it's hot i'm starting to sweat i'm trying to get back in my room already like it's it's very hot child that's a mess that's embarrassing that's embarrassing back to cleaning the bathroom okay so the bathroom area is clean it's very much giving clean now we're gonna move on to this mess yeah okay so we're on the last part of the room and that's basically my bed i washed my sheets and everything so um my sheets not here i i got sheets i just they just you can you know what i'm saying yeah so i just have some a few stuff i have to put away and i'm gonna sweep the flow and then i think i'm gonna do a get ready with me because this video was definitely way too short what y'all think y'all want to get ready with me because i am going out 
so yeah like oh nah she gotta go pull up she got her clothes on she don't waste no time Like, all right y'all so my room is clean thanks for you know coming along with me the video is not over calm down calm down but um i got my clothes in the washing machine they should be switched over for the dryer in probably like an hour and a half um so when i'm putting those up i'll show y'all um and then i'm gonna do my get ready with me but i'm not gonna do it right now because i'm not leaving until like probably like four hours from now i'll see y'all i'll see y'all a little bit later okay y'all i figured out something to talk about um while i was figuring out what something to talk about i just went ahead and did this which is just my hair and do the little clips just because i wanted to make it look fresh so basically what your girl's going to talk about is the time she stole a freaking car like yes i stole a car we're just gonna get into it i'm grown now so i can talk about this this is, i can talk about things like this now back then it was definitely not funny in no shape wear manner like none at all i didn't get my butt beat but i got the disappointment speech which back in the day that meant more to me that like hurt more than a um a whooping so my mom at the time she worked overnight shit when she worked overnight shift you know i was thinking i was grown and i would take the car and i always took the car like this was not like nothing new and just to let y'all know i was driving like my mom was letting me drive wah wah or whatever so i felt like i was grown so that's what i did so whenever she was going to work i would take the car and um i would just go places i would go to like walmart i would go to like um this place that place and this particular night this dude wanted to like just chill or whatever and it wasn't like that it was not like that um we was just chilling so i went to go pick him up and we went we actually went to walmart and like y'all i love walmart like if y'all can't tell by now walmart literally you take me to i will consider walmart a date like for real for real like girl take me to walmart so yeah so we went to walmart and we're walking around or whatever and like throughout the story there's different red flags that should have told me to take my butt home so when we're at walmart i see one of my mom's friends and so i'm like oh my god like let me let me go hide so um i ended up hiding or whatever she didn't see me thank god because i know i was supposed to be home i know i was supposed to be home so, and this is like late at night, y'all, because my mom works night shift. So, this is probably like 9. So, it's not like a regular in the afternoon. Like, it's like, girl. I, and then she know my mom works night shift. So, it's like, if she would have saw me, it would have been like, mm, you getting in trouble. So, that was the first red flag, right? You know, the night goes on and that night is like success. So, that was the first red flag of me taking the car. This was a, a span of two days, right? So, my mom ended up saying she's working, like, a double or something. So, she's, like, she worked one night shift. Now, she's working the morning shift, and she's going to work another night shift. So, she went to work for a full two days or something like that, whatever the math is, right? So, I take the car during the day because I'm like, okay, she's not coming back. And, y'all, I was hella grown because I had my mom's location on my phone. So, I knew when she was leaving work. So, in case, like, I was out and she was leaving work. I can like be like, oh, my mom on the way home. And my mom were like 45 minutes away from her. Y'all, y'all, I was young, okay? I was young. Do not judge me, okay? So, <clears throat> you know, I had her location. She was at work. So I was literally having time of my life. I was literally calling my friends. I was like, oh, y'all want to go to the stove? <laughs> y'all want to go to the stove? Y'all driving around with no license. No license. Who did I think I was? So I spent the day at my friend's house um and we're just chilling and then my mom calls and she's like where are you at and i was like oh i'm at timmy house she was like how'd you get there i was like oh i just walked but at that moment timmy house literally is like across the street not like so <clears throat> my neighborhood was over here right and then there's like this big main road and then her neighborhood is on the side on the other side of the main road so i just walked past the main road she's like you walk past the main road i was like yeah i was like yeah i do it all the time and she was like oh okay well i was just checking on you and i was like oh, okay all right well tell me i'm about to go you know my mom called to check up so you know she's not gonna call for another like you know a couple of hours or whatever so me being grown again I go running around and I go pick up that same friend that I went to Walmart with. 
And so we're driving around, right? And then the police are behind us, right? And I'm like, oh my God. Y'all, do y'all see all these red flags? Y'all see all these red flags? And the first one was when I saw my um, mom's friend in Walmart. The second one is when my mom called when I was at Tammy house. And the third one, there's multiple. And the third one was the police was behind us, right? And so, you know, I'm having a whole panic attack or whatever. And so the person's like, um, just chill. Like they don't even know anything, blase, blase. And so I'm like, okay, cool. So I was going to turn, but the police had their turn signals on. So I was like, and if I was about to turn and I didn't have my turn signals on, baby, you got to get pulled over. So I just went straight and the police ended up turning. And I was like, oh shit, okay. And so then I, after that, my mom calls again. So at this point, I'm speeding home, y'all. Who did I think I was? I, I'm taking the back roads though, cause I don't, I didn't drive on the main roads. I took the back roads. So I'm speeding home and the back roads, the roads are longer. So it was a longer way to get home, but I could speed cause the police don't be back there. As y'all can tell, me knowing that the police don't be back there, I was driving a lot. So I get home, park the car. Literally, I did not turn the car off cause my friend was still in there. And I open the door and I hear my mom's voice. And I'm like, yo, what? the freak i'm about to get my butt beat the freak up like for real that was the first thing and then all you hear is my mom go where's rihanna and then the twin like turned the corner and she's like oh she's right here and so my mom was like why didn't you answer your phone and i was like oh i went to the basement real quick and my phone was upstairs and i was like why are you okay girl try to act like girl you was not sick she was like yeah i was just calling to make sure that you made it home um, back safely from Timmy's house or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm fine. And she was like, okay, well, I'll be home at like 4 a.m. The, the next morning or whatever. And I was like, okay, love you, bye bye. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I take my friend home and then I go back home and I chill for a little bit and then I go back out. Now it's like around seven now. So the sun is about set. So I'll go pick up that same friend. And before y'all think something, I promise y'all we was just friends. We just we like to chill a lot. I don't like how this one's higher than this one. Like you can definitely tell, but I like how this one's high. So this one needs to come up a little bit. Anyways, don't mind how I'm doing my eyebrows. Trust the process. So I go pick him up and then we go chill in this park. We go chill in this park, y'all. And we literally chilling like, y'all, it was a vibe. Like, we listening to, like, old school music, literally talking about life. And probably, like, shit about my life that don't even apply to me now. Like, I was probably talking about something, yeah, I want to go to college. Like, girl, you're in the Marine Corps. You did not do that. I mean, I can still go to college. Anyway, that's different. That's a different story. We're chit-chatting, right? Y'all, all you see is bright lights and a wheel. That's it. Bright lights and one little wheel. Girl, that little wheel. That little wheel. Almost made me shit myself. Like, for real, for real. That was my life. At that little wheel and the flashlights. So, basically, the wheel and the flashlight, if you can't put two and two together, that was the popo. So, the police was pulling into the park. And that's what the bright lights was coming from and the little wheel. So basically the police come and like license and registrations. Y'all, we was parked in the park. My stupid ass did not know that parks closed at a certain time. I didn't know parks had curfew. If you knew that, comment down below. So they asked him for license and registration. I was like, no, I don't have it. I don't even have my permit. Like, and they was like, oh. Okay, and at this moment, you know, Black Lives Matter was like, that That was what was popping up on everything. So I was already scared. Like, I was like, these people is out to kill me. Like, I'm about to die. So I was crying. And that's literally, it's not just that situation. Any time I'm in a police officer's, like, I get kind of, like, tense or whatever. I was like, what the freak? And the dude that was with me knew I was terrified of police or whatever. Like, girl, if you terrified of police, you wouldn't have been doing what you was doing, but you were trying to have grown. So, go talk to the police. So, they tell us to get out or whatever, and they ask for our names. And so, at this point, like, I mean, I'm no longer friends with him, so I can say this. Dude was trying to get me to lie and say that, like, say this all, this lie. And if y'all don't know me, I'm a terrible liar. Like, I cannot lie to save my life. So lying is just not in my best interest. 
it's not something I should do or ever do. Like, girl, just tell the truth and may the um odds be in your favor. It tells the get out and they were playing mean cop, bad cop. I mean, good cop, bad cop. When one was really mean and one was really nice and like literally when he was talking to me i kid you not like he told me i can be at rest or whatever but i did not my hands was on the freaking um on the car because you was not gonna catch me no 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 you can say i can be at ease but then but then you're gonna shoot me and i was not like that and the dude i was with he was being like kind of disrespectful and i was like that boy better get shot up so they were like call your parents and i always think back to this I always think back to like my brain this my brain now is definitely smarter than my brain back then because I literally could have called one of my friends and told them to come pick me up and act like my mom like I literally could have act like my mom because she looked grown as fuck so I'm sorry I did not mean to curse like that um so yeah but back then I didn't call my mom I ended up calling my uncle because you know, I could I wasn't ready to face my mom. I wasn't I wasn't ready to face my mom. So I called my uncle and he came and picked me up and he told me he was like, Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah, you're I'm sorry y'all, but that's what he said. He was like, Yeah, I don't know how to save you from this one. Cause my uncle's like mad chill or whatever. So he was like, Yeah, I don't I don't even know how to I don't I don't even And then not only that, my uncle was drunk when I called. And so I even put him in danger from drink driving, but there's nobody who else could pick me up. And at that time, my older sister, Kayla, she was in the Marine Corps already, but she was, was she in the Marine Corps? I don't think she was in the Marine Corps yet. I think she was on a trip somewhere or whatever. And she was already mad because I had a lot of people in the car. So she blocked me and the car is listed under her name. And so they were like, um, call the owner of the car. That was the police was saying, call the owner of the car. And I'm calling my sister and she's not answering because she blocked me. And, I'm like, ah. and they're like oh so you stole a car so you stole a car the mean cop was like oh you stole a car do you know you know we can put you in handcuffs blah 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 and so they put my ass in handcuffs y'all they put my ass in handcuffs i was in handcuffs and at this moment i was crying so hard because the dude's mom already came and picked him up so it was literally just me and two white cops so you know my brain i'm an overthinker i was like oh lord I, if i die right now nobody would know but luckily i was cool with the dude's mom so she came back she dropped him off and came back and sat with me or whatever and you know she gave me the mom talk she was like what were y'all thinking like why would y'all come sit at this park when there's a park right in front of the house blah 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 blase blase you know like at the moment i was like i don't know like i was just you know hold up y'all i gotta do this real quick she was trying to talk to the police to get them to like just let her take me home and then the police were being like butthead and like no we need to talk to her mom or whatever because i told them my mom was at work and so they were like which i should have said my mom was dead to be honest like i think back now and i like if this was to happen now which it wouldn't because who, who why would i put myself in a position to get in trouble over a dude like if it was for me today i would definitely be like my mom died and my dad and my uncle takes care of me like that's what I would have said. Because at this point, it's fin for yourself. It's fin for your own. Like, get it together. I ended up giving them my mom's number. And my mom is the person to say, like, I want to know before somebody else just approaches her. So, I'm on my way home with my uncle. And at this point, I'm posting on Snapchat. I'm like, y'all, I fucked up. Don't text me. Don't call me. Don't do this. Don't do that. I'm deleting apps. I'm deleting messages. Y'all know. Y'all y'all know that y'all know the routine when your mom finna take your phone so you gotta you gotta delete all them apps so that's basically what i was doing to prepare myself for my mama and i'm thinking i'm about to get my butt beat down like beat down because back then you know whoopings you know you can get those like and nobody called the police for you so i get home or whatever and i tell the twins and my sisters, they're like, they low-key did not feel bad for me at all because we got in an argument earlier that day. So, y'all, at this point, all my sisters was mad at me. So, I'm over here literally debating life in my room. And so, I finally gained the courage to call my mom. And I was like, I did something bad. And she was in a good mood. She's like, what'd you do? Like, just talk to me. Blah, blah. And my mom never does that, y'all. My mom is never like that. So I think it was a setup. I think she was just trying to make me comfortable so I could tell her the whole thing, which made me comfortable and I told her the whole thing. And she was like, wait till I get home. Click. 
y'all know when y'all mama say that. Y'all know when y'all mama say that. Y'all know y'all about to get y'all butt beat down. So at this point, I'm like, oh my God. So my mama get home, right? And remember, I told y'all she get off at four. That lady came in my room at four. And she didn't even beat me. She was like, why would you do something like that? Like, you know how the police are these days. Why would you do that? Like, I literally pay for everything you want. I get your nails done, your eyebrows done, your hair done, all this. I literally hand it out to you. And at that time, she was not lying. My mom did spoil us at that time. No cap, no cap, no cap. So she was getting my nails done literally every two weeks. And it wasn't like the little small ones. It was them long things that cost at least 80. My birthday set cost 95. Like, she was not capping, y'all. She didn't even beat me. She just gave me um disappointed speech. And you know that disappointed speech be hitting um hitting more than the freaking the whoopings. Like literally I would have taken a whooping any day. I was literally grounded for like six months. I do not like the eyebrow. Why is it so high up? But I'm gonna keep it because I don't really care. But yeah, that was the story that I stole the car. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all whose car it was. What the hell? Did I? Yeah. Basically, basically, it was my older sister car. She was out of town for that. This eyebrow isn't giving. It's always it's always that one eyebrow that's not giving what it was supposed to have given. Like, girl, follow the leader. Follow the leader. Like, do y'all see what I'm talking about? Like, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe when I edit this. My editing self, tell me if it looked bad. Because it don't look bad at camera, but in real life, it looked bad. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna finish my makeup and then I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come back to y'all when it's all done. Okay, ooh, I'm feeling myself, y'all, and I am, and I am, and I am. This is the makeup look. Um, put a few fake moles. The only real one is this one right here. The rest of them are fake. Um, yeah, this is my hair. Mm. And I know before y'all be like, how's it to get rid of me if you didn't even see you do it? y'all calm down but if y'all do want like a detailed makeup look then comment down below because y'all i'm not i'm not a makeup artist i'm not i'm really not all the stuff i use is probably from the dollar store or five below like i kid you not i've had this palette since i was in high school sophomore year i kid you not and you see it say five dollars because i got it from five below and i've had it and literally the only things i use out of it is this black one and like the highlighters that's it um but if y'all want that comment down below this is the look um per per i'm feeling really cute about to go on snapchat for myself if you don't got me on snapchat baby go if you don't got me on my spin account baby go if you don't follow me on instagram baby go okay so if you come this far in the video make sure you like if you like the type of content comment down below if you want some more subscribe to girl if you feel like my fast because i feel like yours too okay and i hope y'all enjoyed the video and i'll see y'all in the next one peace